Hello, welcome Gemini. Welcome to the Goddess Queen, 1111 Tarot. Welcome. I hope everyone is high vibing. I have a message for Gemini. How was your weekend? I hope y'all had a blessed day. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And always stay on a positive mindset. And don't let nobody that's negative to destroy your beautiful, wonderful day. All right? Please share, like, and follow. I mean, please share, like, and subscribe. <laughs> I keep thinking about Facebook. But um, if you are new, welcome. And I hope these messages uh, resonate. And um, I thank you so much for being here. Okay? Let's see, Gemini. Let's see what Spirit now wants to say. Here, what is the message? I feel like somebody here that failed you is up under judgment. You was very good to this person. Um, and this person is up under judgment. Okay. Yeah, you ended something with this person. What do you have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node? Yeah, somebody feeling alone. Okay, this is somebody here that left you out in the cold. Okay, but they feeling alone too now. Everything is turning back on them tenfold. All right, what's the messages? Yeah, this is somebody here that you trust, that you love. The love is in reverse. There's no trust, there's no love there. You trust it in yourself. You had to tr trust in yourself and in divine. All right, what's the message for Gemini? Someone rising Venus, North Note. Yeah, sure. Wow. We got happiness and growth. So you're happy. Okay, you happy. You moving forward. You growing. All right, you're not even thinking about this. I mean, you healed. You had evolved from this situation. You're not even tripping no more about it. What fell out was relationship and loneliness. Somebody is lonely without this relationship. Somebody missed this relationship that they had with you. This is the person here who left you alone in this relationship. All right? But you understand that you're not alone because you got ancestors that surround you tenfold, I say. Yeah. So, yeah. You had a relationship. You end up starting to have a relationship with yourself and with the Most High God and your ancestors. You know that you're not alone. Yeah, he said, I am attracted to those those people who serve me, who serve my highest good. Yeah, so you starting to find yourself again, all right? This is what made, this is what made you end up start growing, your growth, because you start finding yourself again. You know, you, you, want, the, you, want, you want to find the people that serves your highest good, that's very, you know, very positive, very hard to, just as much as like you, okay? We got happiness here. Somebody see you happy and they feel alone. They see you um, working on your goals. Yeah, honesty. And said, I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. Exactly. This is somebody here that failed you in a relationship. Wow, it's two cards. Yeah, death. Death, yeah, something that ended. Something that had to end. Something that had to end in order for you to have a new beginning. Okay? We're coming to death is friendship. All right? This is somebody here that thought that, you know, you thought this was, you know, your part of your friend, you know, a friend to you, you know, a, not just only a lover, but a friend. All right. But yeah, you had to put a depth to that situation. Okay. This is something about health, making healthy choices, right? And balancing things out, but it was in reverse. All right. So something here was just not balanced. Okay. Now this can be a relationship or this can be like a, a relationship or this can be a friendship relationship that you didn't have too. Okay. That you had to leave out in the cold. Or, you know, however it is, vice versa, you know. 
Um, take it how it resonates, okay? But somebody here is feeling lonely out in this relationship, all right? Out in this friendship, this, this friendship, relationship, it don't matter. It could have been lover. You could have thought your lover was your friend, you know? Or it, it can be either way, or this can be a friend, okay? But yeah, yeah, it's, it's an ending, a depth to that situation. One more, and then we're going to move on to... Yeah, we got discipline at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, you chose to stay disciplined within yourself and just move forward and leave that situation alone. Okay, I'm trying to see. What else we have for Gemini? Yeah, you took within, you raised your vibration. Okay, yeah, something about transformation. You did you did you did some type of 360 on somebody. Somebody didn't even think that you was gonna be able to pull it off to move forward. Okay? Somebody was trying to beat you down. All right, made you feel like like you wasn't you wasn't not it. You wasn't the one or like you was not good enough or something like that. But yeah, but you gotta you got protection. Yeah, protection though through Archangel Michaels that was protecting you. What else the messages that you have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node? Yeah, it took the courage and bravery for you just to step it up, just to keep on moving forward, to balance yourself out. There's somebody here that wanted to be ignorant, okay? That's why you cut the freaking cord. Yeah, this is somebody here who played you. I feel like some of y'all, there's somebody here that played you for a third party. Okay, and sometimes the third parties can be their family, okay, or their friends, okay. Sometimes it ain't got to be another another woman or another man, all right. It can be like their friends and their family, you know, they chose their friends, friends and family and money over you, okay. Or, you know, or, or, or a third party or a woman or a man, okay, somebody who they could have been dealing with, all right. But yeah, um, you cut the cord with this person, that's what it said, you cut this person out. And you stepped into your strength, and that's what you was guided to do. And you got guidance from, from divine. Yeah, and you moved with holy love. All right, Ashe, give me one more. Yeah, thank you, spirit. Wow. Right, you had to take a step back out of that situation. Because you feel like that this person was not giving you enough clarity, and now in that... Um, they weren't being authentic. And now that they weren't showing no love back, you know, everything was one-sided. It's the main reason why you had to cut that off. Thank you, Spirit. Let's get one more. No, let's do, let's do this article. Okay. And that could have been a friend, too, that you had to step back from. All right. So take it how it ever resonates. But I'm picking up more heavily as in it's a relationship. Somebody that you dealt with. Okay. What else do you have for um, Gemini? Somebody here wants to somebody wants to come in and try to get you an engagement ring. Yeah, this was the runner. There was somebody here ran from a ran from a connection. Alright, because they wasn't ready to be settled. They was too busy while here wanting to be sowing their oaks and, and every and everyone else, you know, and Wanted to be a, um, a hoe. All right. Yeah, we got love here. It said unconditional love, self-love, um, oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. Like I said, you have some type of a love and affection for this person. And this person knew that, right? But they decided that they wanted to uh, choose other people or choose what their family would say and choose um friends you know choose just choose people and then they chose money too over this relationship you know they felt like that their friends and you know doing what everybody else say was more important or you know or not even they didn't want to leave their other uh, third parties connections okay they wanted to stay they want to keep something open give me a message for gemini yeah, so that's what made you to ascend. So you're ascending. Ever since you cut this person up, took a step back, you've been ascending. All right, this is what I'm saying, that how this person is feeling. So there's a card behind it. We got, I like you. All right, 
Somebody here wants to, um, hmm, you might got another date coming in. Y'all might got a, a, a new, new person coming into your life. I think that's why this person here wants you back. All right. We got hands of cards. Yeah. This, I'm um, saying somebody here would want to take a risk to try to come back. Okay. This is somebody here that gambled, gambled your, gambled your heart. Okay. This is somebody here that got some options, all right? But this was somebody here that was not showing their hand, okay? And uh, to me, it looked like that somebody here wants to try to come in and see how can they sneak back in and try to sabotage something that you got going on. We got separation right here at the bottom of the deck. So this is somebody here that who you were separated from, that you had to separate from could have been somebody here stabbed you in your back that was behind the um, hands of cards what else yeah this is somebody here we got mirror all right this is somebody here choose other energies that who they was mirroring okay so they're like narcissistic that's crazy yeah they yeah they they liked it the other third parties situation these are the people that you know that they had reflected you know they had the same reflected wounds okay or if it is this like third parties, like who they slept with, <clears throat> these are the same narcissistic energies that, you know, they had the same reflected wounds. Somebody here felt like that you was just too good enough for them. That's what I'm picking up here. Yeah, somebody here wanted to deal with somebody here that was, you know, hurt people, hurt people. This was the type of person that this person wanted to deal with. Okay. Yeah, somebody here was just worried about their self-image. Okay, you got the clarity and truth about the situation here with the sword and rose. That's why you was forced to let go and protect yourself and take your power back. Yeah, this uh, right here, I'm getting here too. Seduction right along with consent. It was just telling me here, there was somebody here that was an outdated thinking here. You know, this is somebody here with just... Uh, This somebody here was for if somebody had this third party, it could be somebody in some temptation at work. It don't have to be. But if so, this is somebody here playing playing the event over their head of what they have done to you. Okay, Gemini. There's somebody here playing that event. Any one more? Yeah, we got narcissists here. Yeah, this is one side of relationship, love bombing self-absorbed okay somebody you're gonna want to try to call you all right that could be over an email uh maybe a phone call maybe a text and text message or something like that yeah somebody here is waiting to try to contact you because somebody else just split the deck somebody see you about to be abundant all right, or somebody see you being abundant, somebody see you doing a self love, self care, self worth. All right, uh, focusing on self, self worth, time to heal, shadow work, and self appreciation. Somebody see that within you, and somebody here could be dealing with some type of addiction. All right, that could be alcohol addiction or some heavy drugs addictions. I'm picking up or sex addiction. Okay, yeah, this somebody is very codependent of uh, and very obsessive over. All right, and this uh, this is uh, this somebody here is very controlling, okay. This somebody here that didn't want to re I mean, like didn't want to resist of their type of behaviors. All right, let me get some of this. Yeah, there it is, three of cups. So, there it is, three of cups. Third parties, that's what they want to deal with. Temptation. All right, money. Third parties, partying, drugs, alcohol all that that's what they want to do celebrate that they didn't want to like be settled down that's why you had to cut the cord that's why the death is here all right yeah somebody in the five of dang on cups okay they feeling the loss of you they feeling the pain they they very dis and dissatisfied right now what else you have for gemini Let's clarify this friendship because I'm really picking up more. There's really somebody here who you thought 
thought this was your lover and, and a friend to you. Some of y'all, it could be a friend too that's going through some type of addictions. All right, chose some other friends that mirror them, you know. They could have been jealous and envy of you. That's what I'm picking up too for some of you, but that's what I'm picking up too. If, if it is a person who you're in a relationship with, like this person could have been jealous of you too. All right, because you're the star. All right. Somebody seen how how bright you were, how loving you were. You know, how much hope and dreams that you had for your future. Somebody was jealous of that. We got the four of pentacles right here. They holding on to your energy. Clarify this friendship card. Clarify who is this friendship for Gemini? Wow. The magician. There's somebody here that wanted some type of power over you. There's somebody here was manifesting your downfalls. Somebody here that did not want to see you have a new beginning. This is somebody here was doing magic on you, Gemini. With the magician. For your what? For your possession. What was supposed to be gifted, what was gifted to you from divine. And this can be, like I said, your lover or a friend here yeah somebody here wanted your legacy you know the seed that you have you see that you are sowing here opportunities here something that you're manifesting here somebody wanted that somebody wanted your gifts wow so that's what that was okay yeah queen of cups like i said very loving very sweet very generous, very compassionate, and right here we got the Queen of Cups. I tell you, very loving. Somebody here, you just was not meeting somebody's expectation. And if you had a friend, your friend was jealous of you because how sweet, how loving, how compassionate that you were. All right, somebody knew that blessings and stuff was going to come towards you. That's why you took a leap of faith. That's somebody is just. Somebody is pissed off because they feel like, you know, you left them out in the cold. This could have been a friend feel like that. And then I'm picking up here like a lover left you out in the cold. But at the same damn time, you finally cut the cord and took a step back and took a leap of faith. Because in this hangman, you chose to let go and surrender a person and move forward. They don't like that. What else you have for Gemini? Yeah, look, you got the nine of cups. Okay, you do. You have some type of wish fulfillment. You got an abundance that's coming towards you. Yeah, you've been out here counting your blessings. Doing the right thing. And it's a lot of jealousy behind it. Well, it ain't nobody's fault when you choose the you choose the dark side and you choose drugs, alcohol, mm -hmm. seven of swords, being lying, sneaking, deceptive. You know, you chose to do that. And and Gemini it's victory here, all right? It's Gemini or a cross watcher, however it is, whatever it is, okay? But Gemini, it's victory here, all right? Because the sun is here. You already see clarity. You already see for what it is. You recognize for what it is, all right? Not only that, somebody see you in your victory. Somebody see you happy. Somebody see the blessings that's happening for you. And not only that, something is coming out to the light, too. Because the Six of Wands is my um, social media card. And the Sun card is telling me here that something is going to come out to the light. Something is going to tell the truth about some people here that's been lying and smiling in your face, but been lying to you. You want to get the truth here. Yeah, but this right here, this is satisfaction. And whatever, whatever battle that you had to go through... This is you winning here, but things are moving. Things are moving in progress. That's what I'm seeing here. You got good news that's coming in. What's this that's hidden? I mean, peeping out the star card, star card coming out because you the star. Your wishes, your hopes are coming true because you stayed optimistic because you choose to make a positive change that really got pissed off somebody here. Seven of swords. Yeah, this is somebody here that lied to you in a relationship okay yeah somebody here who you had an ace of cups with 
Yeah, they go that emperor right there. It don't have to be. It can be a man or a woman. Not in the hangman. Yeah, because you took a leap of faith. Yeah, queen of cups. They in the three of swords. So they broken hearted over you. Yeah, because you see through the picture. You see for what it is. And you chose to move the peaceful common waters. What else do you have for Gemini? Yeah, move the peaceful common waters. Eight of cups walked away. What else do you have for Gemini? Thank you, spirit. Yeah, we got the uh, eight of wands here. This is fast movement. So things are moving in progress for you ever since you made that sudden change. And now the moon card is telling me here like somebody here got some hidden modems here because you're moving away. Yes, yeah, seven of cups here. You just took a leap of faith. You don't even know what the future is looking like with the seven of cups. All right. This is like surprising. You know, you don't know. This is an illusion. This is imagination. You don't know what, what it looked like for you in the future, but you chose to hop and take that leap of faith and move forward. You know, you realize that some people here was being fake and phony in your life, <clears throat> pretending like they loved you, but they never loved you. It was causing illusions in your life. Yeah, Six of Cups. <coughs> yeah. Six of Cups with the Ace of, Ace of Pentacles, right? Yeah, so this dang gonna pass person here or somebody here that you grew up with, okay, as a friendship, you know, wants to come charging towards you real quick. You know, want to take some sudden action and come towards you because they see the blessings and stuff that's about to get ready to happen in your life. And they want to they wanna come in so they can sabotage and try to block it. Yeah, because they cool. They call and they still being wounded. All right? Yeah. Being wounded. After they done abused their dang on power with the strength card. Now you, now they wounded you. And now you in your strength. It's like they want to come in and try to stop you somehow, some way. But you are protecting yourself. You're defending yourself from these energies here. Okay? Yeah, you're you taking yeah, you're holding on to your energy, your time, money, love, anything. You you holding on to whatever possession that's yours. You're not giving to nobody. Period. Clarify this uh, moon card. What is this hidden modem? Wow. Ten of cups, ten of swords. So be mindful. Ten of Cups here. Somebody know that you're about to get ready to have a happy family. Like I said, I got to like you here. So you got someone here, someone like you. Um, a romance is blooming. Fun, flirt, wants to date. So you could be meeting somebody new. And this is somebody here that you finna get the Ten of Cups with. Okay? A happy family. All right? Um, a happy relationship. A happy family. This is good fortune here. This is gratitude. This is you being, this is you being aligned with your true self. All right, um, but this is a completion here, and somebody here wants to come in and try to give you the ten of swords. They want to try to, they want to try to come in and give you an offer, even probably try to give you some money. You know, offer you some money. You want some money or something? But somebody here is here. That's what the hidden modem here with the moon card here is to portray you. Okay, so be mindful of that, and that could be a friend that wants to come in and do that to you too. All right, because they see that you're manifesting, they see that you're getting in good news. All right, the King of Swords, somebody here strategizing. Uh, how can they come in with the Ace of Wands here? At least, you know, try to show some type of passion because you're getting this Nine of Cups. Clarify this uh, Sun card with the Six of Wands. Clarify the Sun card with the Six of Wands. Yep. What'd I say? What'd I say? The Six of Wands with the Sun card. When I said here, I do. Six of Wands with the Sun card, you finna get a new love that's coming in. Anyway, the lovers ain't the lovers is Gemini. I think so. I think I think lovers is Gemini. You you finna get new love coming in. Yeah, new love is coming in. Yep, somebody, somebody else that you're attracted to. Somebody else that you're finna be committed to. Yep, and somebody here feeling left on the freaking cold. Okay, they thought, they thought if somebody went to another love and left you out in the cold, like I said, it could be family, friends, or a lover. Somebody left you out of the cold, you got a new love that's coming. That's why they want to come in and stop you and everything. Then you got a hating friend that you had a friendship with wants to stop you too because they hating and jealous too, right? So if somebody here left you and put you in a five of five of uh, pentacles and stuff, you know, wanted you to be left out or broke 
or not have anything have you to miss opportunities yeah yeah pay attention to that and the death card is here the death card is telling me here it's the ending to it's an ending to your new beginning right so yeah you put an ending to that so but that's what i'm talking about like the ex-lover the person who you cut the cord we took a step back with in this friendship friend whoever this is could be a family member it don't matter um like i said uh you know, they want, if you got new lovers coming in or something that you love, something that you desire that's coming into you, they want to end that, okay? They want you to have a missed opportunity. So be mindful because they are watching, okay, with the Page of Swords. They are watching and they're strategizing of how how come, how come can they come in and and come in and try to destroy you. But they up under judgment or they try to put judgment on your life, okay? But they up under judgment because divine... They're not going to be able to do nothing, period. They're going to be blocked. That's exactly what's going to happen. Anything else, Spirit, before I go? Yeah, you're stepping into your north node. You're not letting the pride get in your way. People are letting pride get in their way to try to stop you and block you. Anything you have for Gemini before we go? What else you have for Gemini? Wow, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Spirit said, um, balance everything spiritually and practically. So that's what you could be doing, balancing things spiritually and practically. All right. But Spirit wants you to know there's nothing yet set in stone in the situation with these people. All right. It said your, your test was being committed. All right. So that's why you end up stepping back and cutting the cord. You understand that your, you was being, your test was being committed. <clears throat> yeah, because people here was letting their pride be in their way here. And conclusions are within reach. So, conclusions, whatever you're looking for, is within reach. Requirements are about to be adjusted, and a new start is coming. Okay, Gemini? I hope this message um, helped you. Yeah, somebody want to compromise. Somebody wants to communicate clearly. Yeah, but Spirit said the situation will improve. All right? And they said no. <laughs> all right. Look. No. All right. Peace, love, and harmony to all of y'all. Until next time, I will see you again. Bless to you, Gemini.